Hello and welcome to IFI News. We bring to you all the latest happenings and celebrities visiting at the Film Fest. But first, let's have a look at the day's headlines. No cast and crew charged a rupee for Ha Bharat Maza movie. Director says movie inspired by Anna's agitation. Artists and filmmakers from Kerala protest at Iti venue demand rebuilding of Mulla Periyar Dam. Puppet animation films are doing well and earn profit compared to other types of animation films, says Oscar winning film director Hugh Welshman. Common man has the ability to question and challenge different views and laws, says director of the movie Compulsory Helmet. And a look at Film Village Ify's special accommodation. But now we bring to you the top happenings at IFI. Sumitra Bhave, the co-director and producer of the movie Ha Bharat Maza, proudly stated that none of the cast and crew charged for their performance in the movie. Speaking at a press conference on Tuesday morning, Sumitra Bhave told that the thought of the story of this movie came to her mind while she was watching The Agitation by Anna Hazare. I reporter Lokik Shilkar and video journalist Sunny Narvikar report. We were all watching Anna Hazare's uh, moment, uh, sitting at home on different channels. And that's when uh, a story occurred to me. I was wondering that we are all watch watching this agitation on, the, and on different channels, but how does it exactly relate to my personal life situation? And here I am, a middle class person. I need to uh, take this opportunity to look into my own life situation and um, relate uh, uh, this particular agitation to our everyday life and see uh, what happens to my psyche while watching it. And that's how a story occurred to me. I called uh, Vikram Gokhale and said, well, I'm thinking of a story which relates uh, in a way. Um, it's a result of watching this uh, Andolan. Uh, it's not about Andolan, but uh, yeah, Andolan is responsible for uh, um, making me think in that direction. I to tell you that none of the cast and crew uh, charged any money for the performances and therefore it's a very 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 unique experiment as I'm telling you uh, we didn't use any lighting we didn't use any makeup we didn't use any um, uh, sort of an art what is called as an art in film no artifacts were bought uh, for this film no costumes were bought for this film so it was all the expenses were only everyday food during um, the shooting i want my producer who really wants to uh, make serious films serious i repeat serious film which makes you which penetrates you uh, to, to, in you some good thought. As a jolo hai, unke liye koi chara hi nahi hai. Film na banana yehi ek chara hai. They cannot make films, they, they, even they want. So, agar wo in as a logon ko agar bachana hai, to making of the film iske liye jo kharcha ho hai, is pe bahat control ho na chahiye. आज कल हम सुनते हैं 50 करोड़ की 100 करोड़ की फिल्म में कोई एक्टर 10 करोड़ लेता है कोई 15 करोड़ लेता है 9 बजे की शिफ्ट में आदमी 2 बजे आता है दिस इज समथिंग सिली दिस इज अम यू कांट एक्सक्यूज फॉर दैट ये गुनाह है इट्स अ क्रिमिनल वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम एनर्जी मनी एंड एवरीथिंग बिकॉज़ इफ यू कंसीडर दिस एज बिजनेस अलोंग विद आर्ट you have to understand the finance part of it. And uh, I think 
uh, government of Maharashtra is now convinced. Uh, maybe uh, I am on one of the committees uh, to uh, support this thought of making films. The artists and filmmakers from Kerala protested at the IFI venue on Tuesday demanding rebuilding Mulla Periyar Dam. The 116-year-old project of Kerala is in shambles. The protesters wearing black badges demonstrated at IFI venues shouting slogans. A reporter Lok Ikshalkar and video journalist Omkar Fallari report. Rebuild Mulla Periyar! Rebuild Mulla Periyar! Rebuild Mulla Periyar! Rebuild Mulla Periyar! We are, we are facing a big problem down there in Kerala. In fact, actually, you know, the dam Mulla is now in the disaster stage, okay. So we want actually to rebuild the Mulla and save Kerala. There are 35 lakhs people's lives hanging there, actually. So now we are protesting. We are raising our voice here in this International Film Festival to rebuild Mulla Time, disaster to the people of Kerala. But we have expressed that now. But we have to continue as artists. Through our art form, we'll be expressing this through cinema, drama, and other forms of art. This should continue, and we should make our protest visible to the entire world. We build Mulla Periyar! We build Mulla Periyar! On the other hand, Tamil Nadu delegates protested against Kerala people. Tamil Nadu delegates demanded to save the dam. They claim that the agriculture will suffer if the dam is closed. 8,000 acres! 8,000 acres! 3 crore people! 3 crore people! Going to be deserted! Going to be deserted! My dear Carolites! My dear Carolites! Oscar winning producer Hugh Welchman says statistics reveal that animation films are doing well and earn profit compared to other type of animation film. Hugh Welchman, who is the producer of The Flying Machine, a 3D live action and animation film, was speaking at a press conference at the Media Center. A reporter, Lok Ekshilkar, and video journalist Sunny Narvika report. Well, I think that, that, that um, Hollywood still does one part of the process and they do a lot of hard work, which is in the scripting and the storyboarding. And, you know, it's a, a very uh, continually traumatic experience, not just for Indian animation producers, but European animation producers, that you're trying to compete in making films where, um, you know, uh, Hollywood might be uh, hiring 20 board artists who are each being paid three, four hundred dollars a day, who are like the top people in the world, to sit down and work out every problem in the story. Um, and I think that... that you know, that's a kind of challenge that um, the uh, Indian cinema and, you know, Indian training authorities and um, uh, the Ministry of, of Culture and, and uh, has to really try and meet is, is how do you put the money into that? And I know that there are some service producers here, you know, who see that as their next step really is that they're they're making money from um uh, doing service work for external studios and now they need to um uh start investing in in their own products um the only problem is is that they very often tend to be hiring script writers you know from abroad uh, from hollywood and i think that that you know uh, there needs to be a lot of investment um into young script writers um here and I mean I would say that that from my very limited knowledge of Indian cinema, which uh, really started this year when I was living here, um, that because of the star system you have here, um, there's um, in the bigger budget films uh, uh, there could be more script work done and uh, to a higher level that would make those films which are sometimes visually just insanely spectacular uh, particularly you know from my point of view i think that if you look at films from the 1940s like um singing in the rain where they have these incredible choreography of, of camera um you know the places that can do that now is 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 china with their action films or hong kong with their action films and india you know with the with the the, the camera work here and and so you know if i was doing a film with big choreography i would seriously think of just moving to india and, and doing the whole film here and i like living in india I, i'm quite happy if, if i get funding to to come back and live here again 
Um, and now uh, people are actually yearning for variety in animation. So uh, puppet animation is doing very well. And it actually, if you look at the statistics, puppet animation is the most lucrative form of animation in terms of... Uh, there's not many of them made, but the ones that are made, like Coraline, Wallace and Gromit, gross, uh, make more profit proportionally than the CG animation films. 2D films are coming back into fashion. And if you've seen The Flying Machine, uh, we actually have one sequence. So, you know, most of it we have, um, uh, you know, 3D spectacular. Um, but we have one scene which is just um, drawn animation. Um, and actually what we found is that this section of the film is very popular with audiences. It's popular with kids because they've never seen it. Because it's, you know, if people have been, if they're under 15, then they m might have never seen this kind of animation. And it's popular with adults because they feel nostalgic for it. Common man has the ability to question and challenge different views and laws, but lacks courage. Mithun Chandra Chaudhary, the director of short story Compulsory Hellmate, feels that people cannot afford to do so considering the hierarchy in political, religious and social setup. Mithun Chandra Chaudhary was at a press conference at the Media Centre. Our reporter Lok Ekshilkar and video journalist Sunny Narvikar report. I don't think that humour or a comedy film is there to make people laugh. I mean, I found this T.S. Eliot sentence, the English playwright and the uh, poet, very close. Because it's not that, I mean, I don't think Chaplin wanted to make people laugh. I think he had very uh, genuine reasons, uh, genuine intentions to, you know, to say something. And his approach to handling that issue was this. It was not funny. Ah, I mean, it is a different, separate part. It is different that it makes uh, us laugh. I mean, most of Chaplin's films, Chaplin was a master. He does it. He really does it. He believes in, the, the, in that. He, he looks at things in that way and it makes us laugh. We smile, we laugh. And, you know. So I guess humor is not, a comedy film is not, a, the intention of a comedy film is not to make people laugh for the sense of it. I mean, you look at things in particular way and that makes people laugh. It makes funny because that is not common. That is not regular. It is not uh, logical sometimes, an illogical, irrelevant, uh, uncommon approach at looking at things uh, perhaps make people uh, laugh. Common man has the ability uh, to challenge, to question those views, to, those uh, laws, but perhaps sometimes he lacks the courage or I mean when I mean he, I also mean she. Sometimes he does not afford to, uh, you know, to show the courage because of his, you know, position in the system. Because we have a hierarchical, hierarchical system in co in the context of castes, in the context of religion, and otherwise also in the context of status, also classes. We don't have much classes, of course, but castes and religion and caste being the perhaps the worst part of our, you know, hierarchy. So that is played. So I thought keep. People in authority control your thinking process, control your senses, your sensibilities, your living in a way. And that's why helmet also controls, you know, the way you look, the way you uh, smell, the way you uh, hear, perhaps all the senses that, we are, you know, the, are all the five senses that are controlled by helmet. And of course, the brain, the important part of, uh, I mean, that differentiates us from animals. So those authorities make such a rule and we are followed, we, we follow that. We are heading in now for a short break, stay tuned.